Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to King's Grave. Out on April 17th, I've got a little early access to this game, uh, so we're just going to dive right in, but it is made by Egger Chicken Games and published by Alawar, who are kind enough to reach out and sponsor this uh, this video. So I should also mention, of course, that it's since it's coming out in a couple of days, uh, please follow the link in the description below, and wishlist the game, or buy it if it's come out at this point, because uh, this game is super good! It is a mixture of kind of like Legend of Zelda style world exploration and combat. And I'm going to say kind of incremental mechanics. Come back. We need you. You did it. You're back. Who are you? Why am I alive? Wait, who was that glowing woman? And what the hell is going on here anyway? Uh, so yeah, the world's been destroyed and we have to kind of rebuild it piece by piece to gain access to things. And so, oh, I'm weak. I'll only speak of what's important. Who are you again? What happened here? Find survivors, save them. All right, there we go. I played the demo for this a little while ago and had a really, really good time with it. And now that I actually have access to a much greater, ver uh, greater, way more content, I'm excited to get going. Yeah, so we're just some random king that died and has been revived by this lady. Can I? No, I can't smack them bones. It's fine. So we want to just kind of run around grabbing things for a hot second. Uh, ooh. All right, that's fine. Is it? Interesting. What? That's kind of a cool spawning animation. Okay, so we want to fix up this bridge. Yep, just cost some iron. So, unlike most uh, Zelda-style adventure games where you're a little bit hard-locked on abilities, in this you're hard-locked on both abilities and world progress, but it comes with kind of a town-building element to it. So we get to spend resources to get a worker camp so we can clear rubble, but we don't have enough resources for that quite yet. We need a shovel to get through that one, so you have to run around finding resources and eventually like you'll be able to uh, smelt things into uh, I'm going to say greater forms. Greater forms makes it sound maybe a little bit dismissive, but it's one of those where like you smelt the, the metal scraps into uh, like ingots and whatnot. And that gets you access to more things. Uh, like I said, incremental, which is something I'm hugely into. Just as hope gave birth to me, so did the essence of life released from the disease victims give birth to these creatures. Do these vile slugs come from the corpses of my subjects? Yes, but not just these. There's a more terrifying enemy ahead. Brace yourself, your majesty. I don't remember this as much. I think they expanded the intro a little bit. Because I think it was much easier to get the shovel people. Ultra speed, so we now have a dash. Now, it doesn't look like it can dash across that. How do, how do we dash? Ah, shift to dash. There we go. Much more terrifying enemy ahead. A uh, bone totem. There we go. So we still don't have shovels for that one. We can get through here. Okay. Oh, we need uh, we need the ultra strength to get through that. I think I can actually understand how it's supposed to work now. But yeah, we are far too weak for that. But I can get a bow. No, we don't have enough lumber. Okay, we do have these guys. Barracks adds three new citizens. Look at them. They're cute. They don't really have much to say on the matter. I guess they just see see somebody of a royal personage and they're like, yep, we know what to do now. We join him. That that We are peasants. That is all we can do. Uh, let's see. I still need a bunch of planks, so I can't do that one yet. I'm just going to keep wandering around. Well, we can get the worker camp, so we can now clear rubble. Barney, I think we can go up here. Yep, there we are. Your Majesty, is it really you? You died 50 years ago. I know it's you, but how? I'm just as confused. How long do you say it's been? 50 years? So that's why it's all in shambles. Looks like the d disease did not abate even after my death. You're right, Your Majesty. No cure has been found. Some simply survived, and no one knows why. I'm one of the lucky few. What are you going to do now? Look for survivors, I guess. I'd be happy to help you with this. If you can find the materials to fix my house, I'll draw you a map. Uh, I'll see what can be done. Okay, so we have the cartographer. But, nope, we got it. Click on a burning torch to quickly teleport to it. Sick. So we can warp over here. And just zoop around. I think, yeah, now that we've unlocked the shovel, we can just do shovel stuff. Uh, we can dig through any rubble we come across. Your Majesty, is that you? You're alive! 
Oh, I see. We need the bow before I can do anything about this. Uh, let's see. What about up here? I know there was some more tr rubble somewhere. Not here, though. Map. Uh, let's see. So we can't cross that yet. There's some rubble. I do really appreciate the fact that it just shows you where the various, like, uh, progression locks are. So you can easily just go in and, and clear them out. It's a very, I guess I would almost say it's more of a Metroidvania feel than anything else. Not only did this accursed disease wipe out most of the people, didn't even spare the beasts. Oh, I'd do anything for a bite of fried chicken. I'd say you and me both, buddy, but I'm not actually sure if I believe that. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, so one of the downsides here is I do not heal until I've passed a day. So uh, I'm just wounded for now. But that's fine. I can make it work. Okay, smack those. And once we get the bow, this is going to be a bit easier. Yeah, I'll just let that blow up. I think it's... To, oh, it doesn't... Oh, no, it does give me the life essence. There we go. Alright, now I have to kill these guys. I do wonder if the explodey guys really have much of a... Um, if there's a reward specifically for killing them. Or if it's just wait for them to die. Because some games specifically have it. Turns life essence into wood. Gives wood once three. Sure, exchange life essence for wood. I've got a, an amount of that. I think we want to wait, though. At least for a little bit longer. See if there's any locks that specifically require life essence. I think every dawn, it also... Um, Let's see. I think every dawn, it specifically also respawns all enemies, so it's a little easier to get more. Because that's the lumber camp, which also gets me some stuff. I don't remember if I can go over there. Okay, no, we only need, we only need two. Because, yeah, if I can get that bow, we can get over here. Get this. Okay, we've received a new ranged weapon with piercing damage. And I think I can reload. So if I stand here and shoot this. Yeah, so I think what I need to do is lift this over, put it onto that, and then it will let me get through. Maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. Back over to this. Hey, we've got a couple of targets to shoot. I think it can reload, right? Yeah. It's slow, though. You're not really meant to be shooting things in range. Okay, I see. I have to press the button next. To open it up. There we go. I was waiting for a confirmation of like, hey. Ow. Oh, no, I'm, I'm out of air. ammo. That's okay. Blow that up. Take him out. I don't have much HP here. There we go. But that's fine. We can get more. So it could increase my max HP by five. It's an option. We've got people over there, but I don't think I can currently cross that. And I don't want to pass time yet. I don't know if there's really much of a reason to stinge on this kind of thing, but it's one of those where it's like, well, if I can, if I can extend the day for as long as humanly possible, then I might as well do that. No. Looks like these are all, these all have to be activated from the other side. Well, not this one. Okay, I don't know what that thing is. It scares me more on a conceptual level than an actual level. 
is a tough bugger, though. But it's fine. Cleared it. Get some more people. Bip. More citizens joined me. It does feel like it, <laughs> it's a little presumptive that it's like one citizen has joined, has joined you, but it still shows like a, a portrait of people. This feels new to me. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Oh. Oh, no. Here we go. Though we still don't have the explosive. There we go. Then we just have that thing. Ah, and it just blows up right from the get-go. So we can turn essence into wood. Uh, er essence into mushroom. Ursens. Get through this. Yeah, this area is completely new for me. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of enemies. Uh, let's just kind of keep our distance. If there's 17 of them, that means this is going to take some doing. And rather than be too bold or too stupid, oh, they can hit each other. Maybe that's part of it. Didn't do it. Okay. An explosive. I don't really know what happens if I die. There we go. Got him. I think we've already gotten most of them. There we go. That's done. Then all that's left is you. And these guys don't seem to attack too much in close range, though they will. But it does seem like they're somewhat committed to the idea of running away from me. You cannot succeed at that. I, I dig this system of you, you do not heal, because it's kind of more of a, a factor of like, how far can I go? Uh, Yeah, how far can I go before the day is forcibly ended on me? I'm not sure what happens if I die, is the one question, or if I run out of HP. New citizen has joined me. Uh, let's see, we're not finding a whole lot of resources, though. Which is a little unfortunate. So we got a spear spot. We've also got this, which probably opens that up. And these probably open this up, yeah. So where are we? What are we doing? Like, this whole area is completely new to me. Because this was not in the demo that I played, and I'm just having a very good time running around and grabbing stuff. Let's see. I'm just going to refer back to this map. Because I think I came down through this area. Do we just keep going south for now? I think so. I like that, though. The the idea of specifically... Oh, yeah. Can't get through that without, like, a different weapon, maybe? Uh, one of my big problems that I do run into with my work is that often I will play a demo for a game. And the, the game will come out. And the, the version... Demos almost always are like the first hour of a game, which is fine. You know, nothing wrong with that specifically. The problem is I have to play through that a second time around uh, at launch. Uh, or even a third sometimes. I, I get unlucky with some of these. Okay, to build, kill nearby enemies. Well, that didn't work. Okay, just keep avoiding. Seems like this is the last enemy. There we go. Keep re reloading. Okay, so spear is probably a better weapon. Arsenal, weapon, and skill upgrades. And what about this one? Axe workshop, workshop gets us an axe. 
So nothing exactly. But um, having to re redo the first hour of a game, I don't have as much to talk about. There's no sense of wonder and excitement because having seen it and uh, been there, done that functionally, it's like, well, the, the novelty is gone. The wonder and the discovery just isn't there. So we need six more lumber. You know what? I think I'll get the axe because I'm looking for abilities that specifically get me more traversal effects. And I also have plenty of life essence. We might want to actually look into getting some of the other weapons too. But I'm going to stinge and only get things when it's clear that I need something else. So we can now block enemy attacks with a Q. So now I can get across these. Whoops. Just keep slapping them. There we go. And what I want to find is the thing that lets me get big strong so I can actually uh, pick stuff up and pick stuff up and move it around. So if I can get that, we're in for kind of an easier time here. Oh, that spider is not what I want to see today. Oh, I went down. All right. So I've died. Oh, did I hit main menu like a goofus? They are right next to each other. Okay, so what happens when you die? I'm assuming you just spawn from the nearest pedestal, possibly on the next day. No, actually, it's the same day. Wow, that's permissive. I was assuming it would force me into the next day. Oh, it just sent me to the last checkpoint. But I do keep all of my progress, I think. Sure. All right, let's not goof that up this time around. So maybe there's no reason to specifically... Oh, boy. Okay. So spiders are not that bad, but I also need to be less sloppy about these things. There we go. Where's the other enemies? Oh, they're not back yet. These creepy, weird, like, flesh flowers. I keep expecting them to start mortaring me. And the fact that they haven't is a little strange. At some point, one of those is going to be violent, I'm sure. Oh, no, we gotta kill the remaining enemy. Where are they? Hello? Ah. <laughs> a little late to the party, aren't you? All right, let's just go over here. There we go. I think this area should be activated now. Yeah. Hello, people. Join my town. I don't... I don't even know what I'm using them for. Oh, to power buildings like these. Yeah, it needs four people for that one. Well, do we actually go get the smithy? Maybe. Yeah, we only need one more wood for this. And I've got plenty. Oh, uh, let's see. We had the bridge there. Oh, no. We crossed here. I'll have to see if I can actually go north. Because I'm pretty sure the... Uh, let's see. Life essence for stone. Is that guy just stacking ingots on his head? That's impressive. How do we get up up here? Huh. Is it something over here? Because there's nothing there. That's a dash booster. There's some people. Because we already got that. I know we had another grappling tether over on the other side. But I'm not seeing much of anything. Oh, I can fix this for three wood. 
Okay, let's let's just spend some life essence. I'll get like five. I forgot that I can repair bridges. I was almost assuming I had to well, I was absolutely assuming I had to spend resources to get the bridge. Let me through. There we go. It, don't you think those would start getting kind of grabby or something? It just feels like it should be. Ah, that's that's its deal. There we go. Perfect. Huh. Did that reset? Must have. Yeah, hopefully we can get an upgrade that makes my reload speed considerably higher. Later. Okay, that messed him up. I guess I can just smack those guys. Oh. There we go. That's open. Wait. Interesting. Do my attacks have a bit of... Uh, do my ranged attacks have a bit of an AoE? <laughs> Sent him into the drink. Alright, that looks like exactly what I'm supposed to be going for. Let's leave that creepy thing alone. At least for a moment. Okay, ow. I did get hit. I think I'm being a little too bold here. We'll probably want to pass the day at some point just so I can get some more life essence. But the idea of potentially just having a day where, or like doing all of this in one day would actually amuse me to no end. I'm pretty sure eventually we hit some kind of limitation where that's not possible. Okay, so what are we looking for exactly? A target or a lever or something. There we go. Save us. We can't get out. Consider yourself saved, peasants. Okay, so how are we doing this one? There we go. Perfect. All right, so this increases dash distance. I think we're done with this zone, so let's take a look. I guess we can go over here and increase our max HP by five. We got plenty of life essence at the moment and can go get more if we need to. Uh, next order of business, do we wanna go over here? No, let's take a look at some of the other like little puzzles that I've missed and neglected. Cause we've got this one. Pick up the block, move it, or is it? Oh, hold up. There we go. So that changes it into the arrow block so it can go down. Yeah, I did not understand exactly what that puzzle meant the last time I played this. And now I do. Hooray. Oh, did the enemies respawn on me? Interesting. So dying kind of functionally worked as passing a day. But it didn't actually pass the day. Oh, also picking up that healing shrine put me back up to full health, mostly. Well, I mean, more life essence. Just scoot through if I can. Because there's a couple of boxes and barrels that I haven't broken yet. Unless I did break those and those also respawned. Not sure. Still can't do anything with that. Oh, but I bet I can. Boop. There we go. Well, this looks like an unpleasant place to be. Ow. Okay, so actually there's there's a negative reason. Ow? Does it shoot? Oh, it does shoot directly at me. Okay, keeping that in mind, that this one is not the artillery beast. 
is in fact much more directly aggressive. I guess the one thing I can do is like block. Okay, that didn't do much. This is the artillery beast. Also, there's a flesh hole. I will have to investigate the flesh hole later. Oh, you can get him to shoot himself. It's difficult to do. But it's worth it. There we go. So what is what's up with you? Needs oil? Okay, can I to build kill kill nearby enemies? Do we have like an oil barrel somewhere? Either that or it's an ability that I have to unlock. Let's go this way briefly. Fortunately, I need an explodey fruit. There's one. Do they regrow? Yes, they do. Okay, blessed be. Boop. There we go. Plenty of wood. Open another shortcut. Where are we in this process? Oh, we need a new map from the map guy. Okay, we've got another shooty. Oh, do I still take damage blocking or does it does directionality matter? Ow. It's fine. Okay, so we get a whole mess of people out of this one. Five new citizens join you. Okay, we need this spear block. Oh. I get it. So the puzzle switches it to be a different type. Okay, well, shall we go look into getting ourselves a spear? Because we're going to need a spear anyway, probably from a combat perspective. And we have more than enough materials. Whoop. New melee weapon with piercing damage. All right. Aye, and this one gets us some more health, so I can actually heal back up again. Move it here. Get a bunch of stuff. This should also do way more damage. Hopefully. So that's where the... This is where we kind of want to go if we want to use the grappling tethers to get across. I'm going to probably go back to the right, though. We haven't found anything to do with that oil barrel. But I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't something somewhere. I just have to keep pushing for it. Either it's a random bit of loot or... Boop. I don't know what that did. It's e either a random bit of loot or a structure I haven't found in the area yet. I would have assumed it was this. But no dice. Oh, I see. We have that there. Anything down here? No. Okay, we might have to come back to this later. So maybe it's on another side. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we want to go here. Let's go here and up. Because there should be the whole grappling system somewhere up here. Because I shot myself with it previously. Oh, it's just resources. I mean, resources are nice. Just not what I need at the moment. Uh, do we want to go back to the map guy? No, you know what? He's probably a one-off. Haven't done anything with this. Let me take a look. Oh. Have I not gone left here? I don't think I have. Go 
Because we had this. We didn't have the, um, the spear yet, so it, it didn't matter. But now that it, we have had the spear, it's battle time. Oh, you're not a come to oh boy. Okay, so this thing gets tired. If I sit directly beneath it, I can fight it safely. Okay. About as safely as one can fight an endlessly gouting beast. There it is. It's tired. Yeah, so if I'm just slightly off to the right, we're safe. It's dead? You survived this fight, but this is just the beginning. There's a long way ahead of you, and your main enemy is... is at the end. I can sense it, far to the south in an old prison. I sense the darkness and despair that is spreading across the continent. And this darkness will not stop until it's consumed all the survivors. Save them. Save them, my king. I believe in you. Maybe I should have just stayed dead. What is this thing? I have no idea. There's like a glowing block, but I can't do anything about it. All right. So that was the little fight arena. I think originally you teleport. No, that's the teleporter right there or something. There we go. Shortcuts ahoy. All in the first day with only minimal death. I can move that one. Oh, good. Neither of these need to be switched. Interesting how basic these puzzles are. Okay, ooh, that's a lot of scrap iron. Keep going forward, survivors are waiting for you. Are there many more of them? Should I hurry? There are enough, and they will wait. I see, so we need to block this. It's not like we're using that anymore anyway. All right, do we, yeah. I really gotta stop letting those hit me. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. Gonna take some doing. Oh, it looks like we might have an Estus flask here. Oh, that hurt. This is not where I'd like to be. Yeah, do we want to just bail for now? We could. Because I don't think I have enough HP. I could do more with this. Can I go through this? Where does it bring me? Here. There's one enemy, but that's freaky. Uh, I mean... Yeah. What about this one? Doesn't look like it can do anything with it. So unless I want to spend some resources, I think I'm just going to progress the day. We're pretty injured as a result of that. Like, I could go get a bunch of life essence and get access to the axe. King will be healed. Enemies will respawn. Yeah. Like, it would have been funny to, to just play this game almost completely hitless and just be like, yeah, yeah. I can just disregard all damage, but, eh. Because, yeah, we, we cleared out pretty much every single location here. Actually, you know what I'm doing wrong? Last time I was kind of sloppy about fighting this guy. They have really bad accuracy. They fire at the last possible thing. Or kind of... They pick their target right as they're um, starting to open up. Uh, 
Okay. Avoid that. Oh, nope. But yeah, these things, Gazuntide shell, these things run away from me. And they will kind of lead me into the shrines. There we go. Okay. Now that I don't have to worry about that thing, then I'm kind of in the clear. Is that a spider? I think there is a spider here. Hopefully I... Oh, there is a blacksmith. I can upgrade my equipment if I'm not stingy. Which, you know, there's not really a whole lot of reason for me to be stingy here. There we go. There's the spider. Because I can just slowly walk away from this guy. If I stay at maximum range, he cannot hit me. Oh. He does actually get weakened after a while. Oh. I think he did hit me. That's like 10 damage too. Ouch. Yeah, let's, let's go get the smithy open so I can actually get some damage upgrades, because that was kind of bad. Actually, was it? That didn't hit me hit me that hard. Okay, three enemies left. And it's just these guys. Go here. Go here. Yeah, we're good. Just have to hit a bit. Unfortunately, my weapon attack animations only go in certain directions. So we want to grab that. Immunity to poisons. Oh, it's not a Nastus flask. We can also increase our max HP. Ultra of healing restores the king's HP. Ah, so it costs, it costs five, but I can can come back here to heal whenever I want. That's a fine system. What else do we have? Uh, let's see. Life Essence for Scrap Metal. That's okay. Random people. Okay, so now that I've unlocked this... Ooh. Huh. Oh... That's interesting. So each of these paths gives access to a different location, including chests and whatnot. We got some rubble to clear, which I can do. Uh, something on that side, which I might not have cleared. But let's go back here because we want the smithy. Let's just get a whole bunch of this. Screw it. I'm not using this life essence for anything. And we just regenerated a bunch of monsters. Oh. I'm Carl, your majesty. I, in the old days, I was in charge of the arsenal. I'll help you improve your weapons. Pleased to meet you, Carl. Each weapon has its own damage type and is suitable for fighting certain enemies. Your scepter, for, for instance, deals bludgeoning damage and breaks bones well, but is not useful against fleshy or slimy enemies. It just gets stuck. Huh. That's actually helpful. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. So we can spend scrap metal... To increase the amount of bolts in the magazine, do a charge attack, fires three bolts in a fan pattern sometimes, uh, two bolt burst, or electric bolt, flaming bolt, magic bolt. Extends, expands the attack area by 30%, increases damage by 100%. Snagging that for starters. Let's actually do both of these. Bleeding damage would be nice, but I don't think we have enough resources for it. But that arsenal is uh, really useful. Okay, so let's let's go over here. We might want to go back. Oh, we know we can't really go back and refight anything. Most of the enemies aren't going to respawn because... Whoops. I already killed them all. So how do I swap weapons? So that's why I don't do damage to this sucker. No, 
ignite that. X? No. Z? No, that's my abilities. C! Nope. Yeah, so I do less damage to the bone totems. But I don't know how to swap my weapons. Unless I have to go back? Danger high voltage don't use without lightning rod. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, and it doesn't go all the way. Oh. Okay, let's turn that off. Ow. Let's try again. It doesn't have anywhere to go at the moment. Oh, because there's the last one. How did I miss these things? I don't know. Blindness. Oh, I wonder if I have electric bolts, if I can actually just subvert much of this. Maybe. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. No, I thought I told it to not do that. Yeah, so this is why I don't do a whole lot of damage to these guys. I'm curious about a bleeding effect, though. Yeah, I knew this spider wasn't going to be loose forever. Oh, I wonder if the spiders can't attack on a diagonal. Because that certainly would help. Okay. Just keep our distance. Only worry a bit. Because these things themselves on their own aren't very strong. There we go. Okay, so what are you and what can I do with it? Let's see. Boots of speed with iron soles. Unfortunately, I need more iron and other things. Also, this seems to be kind of hard locked. Ah, that's how we get to the other side. Where is that? Just right here in the corner. All right, so if I go back to this, can I actually just buy these? Yeah, bludgeoning damage by a little bit expands the area of attack. So useful. How do I swap my weapons? Unless it's one of those where, no, produces a spear. Oh. Oh, one or two swaps my weapons. Okay, there we go. So let's go back down here, because I think that one... This one lets me swap... Ex exchange life essence for metal. Let's go here, because I don't think we have the mushroom thing yet. Okay, life essence for mushrooms. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I think I got two mushrooms out of that. Let me check. How many mushrooms? Oh, that's probably too many. Oh, well. Oh, because of course we got a bunch for free. So now we need wood, but I'm completely out of life essence. So be it. Okay, we already got that. No, we already got these. Unless there's more to this. I guess here's the benefit. I can fight these guys again for a bunch of life essence. Kind of walked into that one, but that's okay. Yeah, I do way more damage to these guys now. 
And yeah, barrel of oil. Not sure how to get those. Very much not something in my current lineup. Uh, da, 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 da. Kinda wish I could almost zoom out. Well, do we want to go back here for a second? Looks like there's an angel statue thing. Of course, that was last my last bolt, and I'm very bad at reloading. There we go. Yes, yeah, so what's what's up with this thing? Immunity to lightning and unlocks lightning damage. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's out of my price range for now and for quite a while. Let's see, we're done with that. We've got the boots of speed. I guess we can go back to this? No. We want to go over here. Because yeah, oddly enough, I didn't think to go down this direction for reasons. Yeah, the scepter does way more damage to that thing. Cripes. I will keep that in mind. Looks like we've got an another fight arena. But I like these. They give me the resources that I need to succeed. Boy, that spear range is good, though. Okay. Yeah, I want to fight... Let's see. There we go. I want to fight this spider with the hammer, but I haven't exactly upgraded it much yet. There we go. Of course we're not done. Try and take one of these out. There we go. A couple of spiders. I can just kind of poke these guys. The spear isn't primo. There we go. At least not against these guys. The main goal is to just stay away from them, even if it's slower. Okay, there's one. Didn't outrange them enough. There's a third spider in there, you just can't tell. Okay, there that goes. Hopefully this is the end of it. There you go, but we can stay very far away from most of them. Yep, we're good. Oh, it's a health thing. That's what the weird cloud was. I was just not injured the last time I played this. All right. Boy, I've been making some serious progress. So we're back here. Just slowly punch our way through. There we go. Okay, so what do I need for the bridge? Three wood, not much. What else do we have? Anything here? No. I guess we go back here. I'm probably just going to have to spend a fair bit of resources on wood. You know what? Let's do this twice. We're going to need it anyway. So we could go get that as well. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we can now exchange life essence for scrap metal. 
Seems to be the same conversion rate. I need way more mushrooms for that one. Uh, let's see, you need metal, metal, which we could actually go get. Or no? Might be a different type of metal. There we go. What do we have down here? Kind of nothing. It's very quiet. Oh, right. We did have those weird crimson dudes. In that one direction. Hmm. We might want to specifically go get my scepter upgraded. I have entered the Bone Lands, and I think the Bone Lands are kind of a bad place. At least for my current loadout. Like, I can do damage to them. I can still punch through it. But, uh, it's, it's slow. It is so very slow. Yep. There's so many of them here, too. At least these guys don't have much HP. Ow, that did hit me. At least they have, like, very long attack animations. And once they're up and attacking, they're kind of committed to it. There we go. Yep. There. We're good. Beat him to death. And then hopefully all we have left is just this one thing. Plink it down. There. Are we done? The music stopped. And then there's just this guy. So I'll have to go back and check that area, see if there's like one left. Oh, that's interesting. I think this guy might have some kind of weird shot collision issue. Yeah, this is still dark, so there's an enemy somewhere. Unless it was a fight room? No, maybe it was fine. Curious. Because what do we have up here? That's locked. Do I have to go through this gauntlet? I think I do. Here's the problem. How? Oh, can I um increase my bludgeoning damage? Let's do that. Then we'll probably want some extra range. Maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. It's nothing on this upper section. And I've already got that. And then I... I came from over here. Hmm. I was expecting a torch or some such. We did that. I don't see anything else. There's something there. Yeah, so I, I think we just cannot be here. Whatever Whatever this is, it is something for later. Go right here and just give it an ogle. Yeah, it doesn't look like it can go through here either. There's whatever that thing is.
Let's see. Well, we've got rubble. We've got some rubble to clear out down here. Let's take a look at it. I'm very glad I can access the upgrades from anywhere. That feels nice. Collect all the weapons, and only then will the passage through the labyrinth open. This passage will lead you into the prison. Oh, sorry, he actually had something to say. No, there will be more challenges beyond the labyrinth before you reach your goal. Okay, so, yeah, we need every weapon. Uh, you know what? Any of these start as the crown? No. Give it a bonk. Looks like there is something else that I can do over on the right. If I go through here. Oh, you're an enemy? Sort of. It is an enemy. I see. I'm activating the cannon. Ow. What? Did I have that low of HP? Oh, now we're day three. Oh. Okay, so we need immunity to lightning before I can even touch that. So if I respawn, is it day four? It is day four. So if you go back to the main menu, it resets it so you don't you don't lose the day. That's funny. Uh, let's see. I guess let's go here. We need life essence, and I know there's a supply here. Because we still haven't found the oil. So I can easily just come through and merc these guys for a supply. But yeah, looks looks like we have to kind of clear out this whole initial area before we get access to anything. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Unfortunately, I haven't seen anything that even implies oil. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Because whatever this is, is, this is new. I don't even know what's going on with this. There's the sword. There's the scepter workshop. New scepter upgrade branches. Oh, I see. We already know what they look like. It's just hard locked until I clear this place out. I don't know what that does. Huh? No idea. There we go. And then I think, is it for this zone? Yeah. Let's see. So we've, we should have a couple of these blocks, yeah? Yeah. Not going to mess with that puzzle quite yet. Bring these over, grab the resources. You know, interestingly enough, thinking about this game, I think this is one of the first games I've ever played where you're playing as your as like a generic king man. Usually your character becomes the king after. You know, very much your classic Aragorn, the retirement package is being the ruler. Um I think this is one of the first ones I've ever seen where you start as kind of like a big bearded king just going around. Which, you know, makes me kind of think, boy, I really wish that there was a Zelda game where you're just playing as King What's-His-Face. Maybe I have to do something else. Like hit it with a specific ability, maybe? Okay, so that, that's going to require some resources. So where are we at? I guess we can go check the southern section. Some of this seems maybe a little bit too complex for what I've got at the moment. Or maybe I'm just not braining too hard. Unfortunately, it is one of those where, like, after a certain point with these games, I do start getting a little slack-jawed, and I'm just kind of like, yep, cool. 
Uh, that's a resource I haven't figured out yet. That's a puzzle I haven't figured out yet. The game's fairly intuitive, but every once in a while there's a moment where I'm just like, nope, don't even know. All right, so I think we want to go back to this one and then go over to the left. And let's let's have that be kind of the end here. Because I don't I only have so many resources. Didn't I? No, I I never destroyed these. This is complex. Oh, it warps it to the other Because this needs a skull. Huh. Oh, rude. What? I guess maybe positioning does matter. Okay, so this is messy. Question A. No, I see. We bring it over here. Nope. Bring it back. Okay, so we've got a luck block. So that's what this is for. And then we've got the skull block here. I don't actually know what that one did. Uh, let's see. Oh. These switches don't go both ways. So if I put that there, it's not happy with me. That sucks. Because uh, now I effectively have to get back. Flip that switch. I was hoping they would just swap. But that's okay. Move this here. Get that. Move this here. Swap it over. All right, we're good. I deserve that. Should probably go heal at some point, but that's fine. All right, pick this up. All that just to get to the other side of this. Ouch. Question. Okay, that... is fine, actually. Holy smokes, we do a lot of damage to these guys now. All right, so what is this? Ah, invincible during a dash. Unfortunately, we need way more life energy than we currently have, and also emeralds for some reason. This was not where I thought I was going to go. I want to get over here. Well, however you do it, it's fine. For now, at least, I think this is a good stopping point. We've clearly got a lot to upgrade and a ways to go. There's stuff over here that I haven't quite figured out yet, and we'll get to that. We need an oil barrel to progress there. I don't know if I've actually checked the upper section here to see if there's anything. I don't think so. Yeah, we've been through that. And then we clearly need to get enough resources that I can possibly get this. Actually, we're pretty close, so I could become lightning immune fairly quickly. Uh, if I can go here, because we should have the lightning or the life essence for it. I'll just get 10. I'll be sloppy because yeah if i'm immune to lightning we can solve that one puzzle there are so many wait did they did these respawn did i just not grab them i don't know i've gained immunity to electric damage <laughs> by the end of it the king is some, some like weird superhuman uh creature rather than a uh you know just a standard human monarch all right so this time around I am indifferent. All right. So what has that done? I think that's activated the cannon. There we go. Actually, hold up. There we go. 
because that'll kill the the tree. I wonder if I need fire damage later. Probably. Like if I get a fire damage arrow, it might be one of those where I can uh, specifically take these things out on my own. Though it seems like they might heal over time. Hard to say, it doesn't really matter too much. I just want to kill this thing. Bop. I was trying to go up. Oh well, it's fine. Anyway, uh, so I might as well mention before we go, Kingsgrave is out once again on April 17th, so that should be in two days. Uh, so if you liked what you've seen here so far, I highly encourage you to go check it out. I've left a link in the description below. And I'll take you straight to the Steam page. It is genuinely one of the more interesting sort of Zelda-style games I've played ever. It seems like it's... Actually, no, it seems pretty big. Like, we've cleared it a, we've cleared a decent amount. There's some kind of darkened area down here. But maybe there's even multiple maps that we get access to at a later date as well. I don't know. I'm curious to see. I'm pretty sure this is going to hurt me. Oh, boy. Are you just supposed to tank that? It th th there's no way, right? On the plus side, I can come back here for even more uh, life essence. Oh, man. I can just clobber these things seven ways to Tuesday. Yeah, there's no way I can get through that. There we go. Just rip through these dudes. Take, ideally, no damage. And go from here. But yeah, just the mixture of puzzles, incremental kind of zone opening. Uh, slightly freeform character upgrades. Like, obviously, we're kind of resource locked in a lot of these ways. Uh, but the mixture of all of these different uh, systems feels really good to me. And has a lot of potential for even more interesting... Uh, uh, even more interesting gameplay. I don't know. It's just that kind of feeling of like, yeah, what do I invest my resources into? Do I put more effort into effort and resources into um, boosting my ability to, uh, you know, do damage with the spear? Do I go upgrade that? Do I unlock the axe? Do I upgrade uh, maybe some buildings? Do I get a lot of resources so I can open things up? It's it's very. How do I want to say it's a little on the limited side of like truly what you can do with all of it. But at the same time, it's, it's very satisfying even just having that option. I am also kind of lost. It feels like there's things that I should be able to access over here, but I can't yet. So maybe it's something that I just have to figure out. Oh, shoot. It was over here. There was a whole zone that I haven't been to yet. That was over... Yeah. Interesting. So, yep. Yep. There are some enemies over here as well that I might as well kill for some life essence. But yeah, I, I remember the blood globules, but only barely. So yeah, let's let's take a look at this. These are the ones that are probably weak to spear. Oh, that's unsettling to behold. Ah, and I'm going to need the oil barrel again. That's shown up again. Maybe it's something that we get access to sooner than later. We just have to find the right spot. At least these guys don't have nearly the range of spiders, so I can just kind of outrange them and hide. Oh, I bet they're weak to axes, maybe. I haven't the faintest what to do with that. Oop, nothing. Huh. It's given me one of these. Oh, can I just... Yeah, I can get through here. Not a clue. It's... It feels like it should be accessible. It feels like I should be able to do something about this. At least we can open the door up. But yeah, until we find that oil barrel, we are incapable of making any further progress, I suppose. It's got to be somewhere. Or I've completely, like, goofed it. And it's actually much, much simpler than I thought. It seems like there's a... No. No, that's ticket over there. I I have no idea. Anyway, I think with all of this said, 
One last thank you to Edgar Chicken and Alawar for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you. And it was a ton of fun. Alawar especially has been publishing some kind of fun, weird games. Or publishing publishing and making some fun, weird games over the last uh, year or two. And I'm excited to see where they go. Because this is the kind of fun, unique riff on a traditional format. But switch it up in a way that becomes something kind of completely different and unique. Uh, and I want to see more games that, that take these ideas and experiment with them. And maybe don't not stay there welcome either. Uh, I like nice nice games that I might actually have a chance of beating within an evening or an afternoon or something. And this, unless I'm mis misinterpreting how much content there is on the map, it seems like it might be kind of a short and sweet adventure, which is much more my speed. Though, obviously, we have quite a lot of resources that I haven't even seen yet. Anyway, or at least haven't even gotten access to, barely have access to. Uh, but for now, at least, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, there's a lightning thing here. Oh, we probably need lightning arrows to get that one. Yeah, it's got to be it.